Hello, Vin. Good afternoon. Hello, Vin. Good afternoon. Hello, teacher. Yes. Okay. So before we start, let's have a system check first. Can you hear me well? Yes. Okay, great. Would it be okay for you, Vin, if I will just turn off my camera because my camera has a problem. Last time, it was my CPU, but this time, it's my camera that was not connected with my CPU. So I think I need to find a technician for that to be able so that my camera will turn on. Okay, so for just for today's class, I will just not use my camera. Would that be okay for you, Vin? Yes, it's okay. Okay, so how are you today, Vin? Oh, uh, teacher, but last time I tell you that we study at 5 or 6 p.m. 5 p.m. Okay, so what time is it now? Let me see. Where is my phone? Okay. Five. Ah, yes. You are correct. So the time now is 4 p.m. VNT. So we agree that we will have class 5 p.m. VNT. Is that right? Is that right, Vin? Yes, so I'm very sorry, Vin. I'm so excited to have class with you today. Okay, so what will you do? You will go back at 5 p.m. exactly VNT? Or just continue mm -hmm. class? Yeah, because I'm sorry. I thought I was I I was confused with Philippine time and VNT time. Yeah, because right now here in the Philippines it's 5 11 p.m. So in if it's VNT. It's still 4 11 p.m. Is that right, Vin? Yes. Okay, so do you have other thing to do? Mm. Uh, I have quite much thing to do. Ah, uh, you have much you have much thing to do? I said I have quite much thing to do. Ah, okay. So I will just wait until it's 5 p.m. VNT. Then for now, you can now exit in Zoom so that you can do other things that you need to do. Mm, I'm sorry. If... Not just today, we learn uh, 4 p.m. to 4, uh, 45. Ah, so you want us to continue having class? Yes. Ah, okay. So I think that would be a good idea, Ben. So now, um, what is the weather in your place? Is it raining or a little bit hot? Uh, it is sunny. It a little bit hot. Ah, that's nice weather because you know here in my place right now it's raining and it's a little bit cold. Okay, so now, Ben, are you ready to continue our lesson in? In, um, yes. Okay, great. So this time we will continue part three. So here in part three, there are questions 11 to 20. If all your answers are correct, you will automatically get a 10 points. Okay, so what will you do in part three? You're going to look at the sentences below about an English city. Then you read the text to decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. Then if it is correct, you're going to mark A on your answer sheet. Then if it is not correct, you're going to mark B on your answer sheet. Okay, so do you got it, Bin? So now let me... Um, before we proceed with part three, let's learn the words first from our vocabulary. Okay, so can you see the screen? Yes. Okay, yes. so now I want you to read the meaning of invasion. Uh, the act of an army entering another country 
by force in order to take control of it. Yes. Okay, thank you for reading that one, Vin. When we say invasion, it is an act of invading. So what is in what does it mean when we say invade? When we say invade, this means to enter a place such as a foreign country, for example, in order to take control by military force. Okay, for example, the Vietnamese army will invade philippines that is just an example to take control of their military force so that is the act of invading when you go to another country forcefully so that you can control their military do you got it vin yes i got it yes okay so now let's proceed with the next word we have religion okay so if you don't mind me asking bin what is your religion do you believe in god uh i don't really believe in any god ah you don't believe in god okay so what is your religion do you have any religion Uh, I think no. Okay, Vin, can you please repeat? I, I said I think I don't have any religion. Okay, so what about when you go to Pagoda? What do you do there in Pagoda? Uh, I just... Work and uh, sourcing in there. Yeah. Okay, but do you pray every day? Uh, no. Ah, okay. So when we say religion, Vin, it is a belief in the existence of a god or goddesses and the activities that are connected with the worship of them of them for example my religion is roman catholic i go to church every sunday and i worship and pray god there what do we pray we thank god we say sorry for all the things that we do and we ask god for what we need that is how we pray in okay that's for our religion as long as you believe in god okay and even if you don't believe in god it's still okay because that is your belief. And I, and I have nothing to do with your belief, Vin. Okay. So now let's pro. Do you know what is religion? Example for that are Muslim. Those, when we say Muslim, those are Islamic country, just like Saudi Arabia. Then for Roman Catholic, we have we have philippines we have baptist there are many religion and there are also some people who doesn't have religion and that is okay as long as you are kind to other people and you help people who are in need okay so do you have any question about religion vin Hello, Vin. Hello, Vin. Can you hear me? No, teacher, I. Yeah, can you hear me, Vin? Okay, okay, so, so can, can, can you can hear, you hear me, Vin? Vin? 
Hello, Vin. Hello, teacher. Yes, okay. Can you hear me well? Yes. Mm, I hear, I hear you chopping. Yeah, so it's a little bit choppy. Okay, can you please check your internet connection, Vin? Because I check it when I enter Zoom using my phone. Yeah, and it's good because I can see the screen clearly and I can hear my voice very well when I enter my phone. What about your internet, Vin? Did you check it? Uh, yes, I'll check it. I think it's a bit weak, but I don't have any internet without it, so I use it. Ah, yes. Okay, so can we continue our class now? Okay. Okay, so now, Vin, let's proceed with the next word. Okay, we have population. It is a noun that means all the people who live in a particular area, city, or country. Okay, so what is your own definition of a population? Uh. Yes, okay. So what is your own pop your own definition of a population vin? Teacher. Yes. I can hear you, Vin, but it's a little bit choppy and your face is freezing. I think that's your internet connection, Vin. Okay, hello Vin, can you please get out in Zoom then try to restart your laptop? Yeah, because you're a little bit choppy or you can go to other place so that you can get a lot of signal. Uh, so, I yeah. try to do that, but it's done work. So I try that, and I think. It's... And you think? Yeah, because right now you're choppy. I, uh, to connect the Wi-Fi. Ah. Okay, so what is, so okay, so let's go back to our vocabulary. What is your own definition of a population? Okay, Không phải không học mà là con kêu cô là cho con một cái để con chắc cái internet của con. Okay, so I think I can hear you well now, Vin. So what is your own definition of a population? Mm, I don't know. Yes, Vin, can you hear me well? 
Yes, I hear you well. Okay, so when we say population, this is a number of people who are living in a specific place. For example, in your house, how many people are living with you in the same roof? There are six people. Okay, so that is your population inside your house. Okay, when we say population, it is all the people who live in a specific area. For example, in Malaybalay City, there are 15,000 people living here. Okay, so now, Vin, do you have any question to me before we proceed with the next word? Mm, no, I have a question to you. Okay, so next, can you please read the meaning of commercial? It is connected with the buying and selling good and survive. Okay, yes, that is correct. It is connected with the buying and selling of goods and services. Then when where where can you see commercial advertisements been? At a shop. Yes, in a shop. And sometimes we can see them on the television, on the radio. We can hear them on the radio. Yes, we have commercial advertisements. Okay, and once um, the product will be shown on the TV, of course, the company will pay money for that TV program. Okay. Okay, so now let's proceed. If there's still more. Okay, we have lorry. Okay, what does it mean when we say lorry? What is lorry, Vin? I think lorry is a, a, a version of a truck. What? Yes, that is correct. It is. It is a British word that means motor truck. Okay. okay, when we say motor truck, it is an automotive truck used especially for transporting freight. Okay, just like what is shown in the picture. This is lorry, the name ah, of the okay. truck. Yes, okay, so now, Vin, let's proceed with our part three. Okay, can you see the screen clearly? Yes. Okay, so this time I want you to read Norwich. Okay, so let me make it a little bit bigger for you. Thank you. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. Norwich. Can you please start reading Norwich? Okay. Norwich, the capital of the part of Britain known as East Angler has existed as a place to live for more than 2,000 years. It began as a small village beside the river Wesson at the time of the Norman invasion in uh, 166. It had grown to become one of the largest towns in England with two Cathedrals and um, Moscow. Norwich has long been a popular center of various religions. The first cathedral was built in 195 and has recently celebrated its 19th anniversary. Why or not, which itself had a year to celebration in uh, 1994 to mark the uh, 800th anniversary of the city receiving a royal charter. It allowed it to be called a city to govern itself independently 
today in, com in comparison with places like London or Manchester, Norwich is quite small. With a population of around uh, 150,000. 150,000. But in the 16th century, Norwich was the second city of England. It continued to grow for the next three, uh, 300 years and got richer and richer, becoming famous for having as many churches as there as there are weeks in the year and as many pubs as there are days in the year. Okay, so let me read this now part. That, for okay. Okay, so nowadays there are far fewer churches and pubs, but in 1964, the University of East Anglia was built in Norwich with its fast growing student population and its success as a modern commercial center. Norwich is the biggest center for insurance services outside London. The city now has a wide choice of entertainment, which are theaters, cinemas, nightclubs, busy cafes, excellent restaurants, and a number of arts and leisure centers. There is also a football team whose colors are green and yellow. The team is known as the Canaries, though nobody can be sure why. Okay, so can you please start reading with now, Vin? Now the city's attraction. Now the city attraction include Another important development, a modern shopping center called the Casamo. The people of Norwich live in a very large house in the middle of the city for two years. As builder dug up the main car park, lorries moved nearly a million tons of earth so that the roof of the mall could be become a city, a city center park. With attractive waterfalls and hundreds of trees. But the local people are really pleased that all open market remains right in the heart of the city and next to the new development. Both areas continue to do good business, proving that Norwich had managed to mix the best of the old and the new. Two. Okay, so thank you for reading this one, Vin, about Norwich. So what can you say about Norwich? Mm. What is Norwich, Vin? Norwich is a capital of a part of Britain. Yes, that is correct. Can you please repeat this word you say, Britain? Britain. Britain. Okay. And this one, you say mosque. Mosque. Okay. Mosque is the same when you go to pagoda. Mosque can be a church and it can be a cathedral because when we say cathedral, it's the same with a church or a pagoda. Okay. So this time, Vin, you're going to answer numbers 11 to 12 okay so can you still remember the instruction in how to answer 11 to 20 you're going to mark yes eight. yes that is correct okay so for number 11 the river oh, went yes so can you say again mark a incorrect or correct yes mark a if it is correct then you mark B if the sentence is not correct. Okay, so can we begin with number 11? Okay. Okay, for number 11, the river Wensom flows through East Anglia. Is it A or B? It's B. 
letter B. So you mean false. Okay, so let's check. This is letter A. It is correct. And we can see the answer here in this part. This is the one that I read recently. Yeah, because I can still remember the is Anglia. Okay, so what about number 12? People have lived by the river Wensom for at least 2,000 years. Is it true or false then? Or is it A or B? I think it's false. It's false. So you mean this is letter B? Yes. Okay, so let's see. This is still letter A. What about number 13, Vin? In the 11th century, Norwich was a small village. I think that is letter A. Okay, oh, for... Oh, oh, let me think. I think it's letter B, yeah. Okay, so for number 13, this is letter B. This is wrong because, you know, Norwich is the capital of the part of Britain. When we say capital, it is a very big city and it is not a small village. How about number 14? Norwich has been a city since its first cathedral was built. Is it A or B? It's B. Letter B. Okay, so let's check. Wow, great job. This is false. What about number 15? Can you please read the sentence, Vin? Norwich has always been one of the smallest English cities. I yes. B too. Letter B. Okay, very good. This is a letter B. How about number 16? There are more than 50 churches in Norwich. Is it A or B? That's... Uh, B. Yes. Okay, this is letter B. Great. What about number 17? The number of students in Norwich is increasing. Is it right or wrong? Is it A or B? I think it's A. Okay, great. This is letter A. How about number 18? The Norwich City football is called the Canaries because of the colors the players wear. Is it Correct or not? Mm, I think this fonts. Okay, so what is your answer, Vin? Your answer is B. Letter B, let me see. Wow, great, that's correct. Okay, for number 19, the Castle Mall took more than two years to build. Uh, that is A. Letter A. Okay. So this is letter A. Great. How about number 20, Vin? Norwich people still like using the old market as well as shopping in the castle mall. I think this is on the last paragraph about a castle mall. Uh, teacher, I hear you shopping. Can I please uh, turn up my camera to increase the internet here? Yeah. You know, when yes, Vin, sure, no problem. Thank you, teacher. Yes, you're welcome. Okay, so for number 20, what is your answer? Norwich people still like using the old market as well as shopping in the castle mall. So what is your answer in number 20? I think that's A. Letter A. Okay, so let's see. Yes, great job. So here in this part, you got, I think, 8 out of 10. That is still a good score. So before we proceed with the next slide, Vin, do you have any clar clarification to me about Norwich? Uh, no. 
No, okay. So now let's proceed with the next slide. So let's proceed with par part four. So here in part four, you will get five points if you can answer questions 21 to 25. So what to do in part four? You're going to read the text and questions below. For each question, you're going to mark the correct letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. So it's a multiple choices you have four choices to choose okay so before you answer number 21 i want you to read this short story on the left side okay can you please read vin when i opened the first body shop in 19 1976 my only object was earn enough to feed my children. Today, the body shop was in a, an, an international company rapidly growing all the world. In the years since we began, I have learned a lot, much of what I have learned will be found in this book. For belief as we as a company have something worth to say how to run a successful business without giving up what we really believe in. It's not a normal business book, nor is, is, uh, is it just about my life. The message is that to set in business, you have to be different. Business can be fun. A uh, business can be run with love and it can do good business as in life. I need to enjoy myself to have a feeling of family and to feel excited by the un unexpected. I have always wanted the people who work for a body shop to feel the same way. Now, this book send the ideas of mine out into the world, make them public. I would think, uh, I would like to think there are no limit to our family, no limit to what we can be done. I find that exciting thought. I hope you do too. Okay, very good. Thank you for reading this short story, Vin. While you're reading, I can see that you are a great reader and it's good because all your pronunciations are correct. Okay, so my question is, did you understand the story that you read? Uh, yes. Okay, great. Uh, teacher, I hear you yes. chopping. Ah, a little bit choppy. So I think that's the that's an internet problem. I don't know which side has a problem for the internet because last time I checked, my internet is correct. I my internet is good, not correct. Okay. So what is the message in the about this story, Vin? In this story, what is the message? Mm. I think that is the uh, to tell the reader how I choose me to introduce her idea to the reader. Okay, so you choose letter B. What is the writer's main purpose in writing this text? Okay, to introduce her ideas to the reader. Very good. What about number 22? What would someone learn from this text? A, how to make a lot of money. B, how to write a book about business. C, what the writer's family is like. Or D, what the writer's book is about. What is your answer, you. Ben? I've been. I just B. Still letter B. Okay, so let's check. This is letter D this time as in dog. The answer is what the writer's book is about. Okay, so now let's proceed with number 23. 
how does the writer feel about the business she runs? A, she doesn't care about business if her children are fed. B, she just runs it for her own entertainment. Or C, it is not like any other company. Or D, it is likely to become even more successful. Uh, I choose, uh, I think that is, uh, D. Letter D. Okay, this is letter C. It is not likely any other company. Okay, so for number 24, what kind of workers does the writer like to employ? A, workers who can explain her ideas. B, workers who can get on well with the public. Or C, workers who have the same attitudes as she does. Or D, workers who have their own families. What do you think is the correct answer? I think that is... B. Letter B. Is that your final answer? Yes. Okay, so let's see. This is letter C. Workers who have the same attitudes as she does, as she does. Okay, so for the last number, what kind of person does the writer seem to be? A, she seems to be someone with strong opinions. B, she doesn't seem to be very confident. Or C, she is mainly interested in making money. Or D, she sees running a business as just a job. I think that is... Mm -hmm. This... C. Letter C. Is that final? Yes. Okay. So this time, it's letter A. She seems to be someone with strong opinions. Okay. So for your score in this part, you got one out of five. Have you got, do you have any clarification to me, Vin? No. Okay, so I think you are just confused with the question and the choices. Okay, so since you don't have any question and our time is already over, we will just end here formally, Vin. And I'd like to thank you for participating in our class. And I'm very sorry because I forgot the time that we will have okay. class okay but it's okay because we're done and you will not be around at 5 p.m anymore okay so thank you so much vin enjoy the rest of your weekend and keep safe always bye bye see you next week bye bye teacher. yes good